Hey basketball players, today I'm going to be talking to you about 10 different basketball shooting drills that you can do in your driveway if you have a driveway basketball net. So I'm just going to get right down to it. If you want to really work on the power and strength behind your shot, the one thing that you're going to want to do is to do chair shooting. Now this is a drill that you don't really see all that often on YouTube, so I thought I would bring it to you. This is a drill that we used to do way back when I was in high school. It's a lot of fun. So what you're gonna need is a chair. You are going to sit right on the edge of the chair. When you're taking your shot, when you're taking your shot, you also wanna have your feet shoulder width apart still. And if you're right-handed, your right foot ahead of your left foot by your toes, like if you're taking a regular shot. When you take your shot, there's two different versions of this drill. There's one where you're staying sitting, where you're keeping your back straight, your shoulders back, your feet shoulder width apart, like I just mentioned with your right foot ahead of the other, and then you can take your shot. Now, when you take your shot, you also have the secondary option or the second drill that I'm gonna show you today. When you take your shot, you stand up and then you take your shot. So this is what these first two drills are gonna look like. And what you are aiming for in these two first drills are swishes, no rim, no backboard, a perfect swish. The third driveway basketball drill that I'm gonna give you is you can spin the ball to yourself. You can take a jab step, come back, and take your shot. Now, you can add on to this same drill by doing a few different things. So, you can do a close jab step, a secondary farther jab step, come back and shoot, or you can take a jab step through the leg dribble, hop step back, and then take your shot. So this is what this drill is gonna look like. Now this fourth basketball shooting drill from your driveway that I'm gonna show you is lunge shooting. So just like it says, you're gonna go into a lunge, come back up and take your shot. Now, there's a few things with this drill why it's gonna help you. So number one, if you're going in for a lunge, it's like if you're picking up the ball and you're taking your shot right away. And this is gonna be something that, that may happen in the game. And this is gonna help you when you return to basketball after this coronavirus stuff. Now the fifth basketball shooting drill I'm gonna give you today is foot speed shooting. Now you can have your own speed ladder or agility ladder, or you can make your own like I have here. Now what you can do here is so many different types of drills. So you can go alternating feet across the ladder. You can go hopscotch where you're going two in, two out, or you can go one in, two out, one in, two out. It's totally up to you. And there's so many other foot speed drills that you can do. But once you get to the end, you're gonna do a, a reverse pivot. You're gonna do a jab step, come back and shoot that ball. So this is what this drill is gonna look like. So this next drill that I'm gonna show you is going to be for your core and also for your balance. So what you're gonna do, we're gonna do this one on each leg. So for the left leg, you're gonna keep it straight. You're gonna bring your back leg out, touch the ball to the ground, come back up and take your shot. Now for the right leg, same idea. Left leg goes out, touch the ground, ball to the ground, come back up and take your shot. So it's gonna look like this. Now this next basketball drill is another one for in-game motion. So if you have a partner, they can pass you the ball or you can spin it to yourself or you don't even have to spin it to yourself at all if your driveway is not level like mine isn't. So what we're gonna do here, you're gonna get into your shooting stance. You're gonna hold that ball out. 
your partner or yourself can say shoot you're going to bring it in and shoot same thing with the left hand hold it out or have them pass to your outstretched hand bring it in and take a shot this is imitating like if you would be playing in a game where somebody sent you a bad pass and it goes way over there you bring it in and you take your shot so it's going to look like this So this next basketball shooting drill that you can do in your driveway is what I call 180 shooting. We've done a drill like this last year on this channel, but it's very simple. All you're going to do is face the basket, jump 180 away from the basket, 180 back and take your shot. This is going to help you be able to focus on the room faster so you can take your shot a lot faster in game. And now the ninth basketball shooting drill that I'm going to give you for your driveway is called plank shooting. So just like the name is implying, basically you go down into a plank, you hold it for 5, 10, 20 seconds, however long you want, get back up and then take your shot. So it's going to look like this. And of course, the 10th drill that I'm going to give you is a very simple one. You're in your driveway. If it's still coronavirus time when you're watching this video, this is a perfect time to really work on your weak hand shot. It's always good to have a great weak hand shot. The reason for that is mainly because when you're taking your shots in game and you're turning around and you're about to take that shot with your right hand, but that defender already knows that you're gonna shoot with your right hand, instead you can pivot and shoot with that left hand off the backboard you're gonna be a much harder player to guard in basketball. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.